I am always, always, always nagging my students to remember the units because they make up such a massive part of the physics exam. But here's um, a few hints which will help you if you've forgotten all of your units. So there are a few standard units which I'm afraid you're going to have to remember. For example, energy is measured in joules, mass here is measured in kilograms, and this is temperature change, which stands for degrees. This one here in the middle is um, specific heat capacity. And it would be a main question for you um, to ask you to work out um, the, the units for specific capacity, but it's always good for you to know how to do it. So we just need to rearrange the equations so that we have C as subject of the formula. So if I just pop all of those up there, um, and if we just rearrange the equation to make C the subject, we take E and we need to divide that by M theta, to make C. All we need to do now is to replace the, um, the, the symbol with the units. So we put joules for energy on top, kilograms and degrees C um, equals C. So our units for specific, specific heat capacity are joules per kilogram degree. So exactly the same here for um, momentum. There are a few common ones that you have to remember. For example, mass is in kilograms and velocity is in meters per second. Um, now we don't need to rearrange the equation here because P is already the subject of the formula. So our units for um, P are exactly um, what we have written here. They are kilograms times meters per second. So our units for P are kilogram meters per second. So here are a couple more common ones that you need to remember. So force is in newtons and distance is in meters. Um, if we've forgotten what the unit for our spring constant is, we can work that out again by making K the subject of the formula. So that would be F divided by E equals K. We replace the F and the E with the units that we already have. So we have um, newtons and meters equal K. So our units for our spring constants are newtons per meter. Here we have um, weight equals mass times gravity. So you should remember that weight is in newtons and mass is in kilograms. Um, gravity, you should remember that the, un the, the number for it is 10, but if you can't remember what the units are, um, we can just rearrange the equation. So weight um, divided by mass equals gravity. Replace that with the unit, so newtons divided by kilograms, so our units for gravity, or gravity is going to be 10 newtons per kilogram. And here we have um, uh, a moment, we have force per newtons, distance um, and metres, we don't need to rearrange the equations here, so force times distance, newtons times metres, the uh, unit for a moment is a newton metre. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.